Previously, my brother and I explored the Kowloon side of Hong Kong. In this video, we will be exploring the Nanlian Garden, Mong Kok, and Causeway Bay. <music> Good morning! So it's our second day here in Hong Kong. So our activities for today will be going to Nanlian Garden and Chili Nunnery. And then after that, we'll probably go to Mong Kok and then just explore Causeway Bay at night. To get to Nanlian Garden from Causeway Bay, you can take the MTR from the Causeway Bay station, but you need to transfer twice. First, take the blue line to North Point and from North Point, take the purple line to Yaotong. We're now at the North Point station. We just need to transfer to the purple line here to Yaotong. Okay, so we're now at the Yaotong station, but we need to transfer for the last time. We need to go to the green line and um, alight at Diamond Hill station. Regardless of whichever station you come from, your goal is to reach the Diamond Hill Station. So we're now in Diamond Hill. This is the last station and the nearest station to Nanyan Garden. You have to exit at C2 exit. You will see Plaza Hollywood Mall when you exit at C2. And from there, just turn right and follow the signs. The Nanyan Garden and the Chili Nunnery are connected by a footbridge so you can visit both attractions. Okay, so we're now inside the Nanlian Garden, which is a Tang Dynasty inspired garden park with lots of greeneries and pathways. This footbridge connects the Nanlian Garden and the Chilin Nunnery. So from here, you will be able to see the pavilion. The high-rise apartment blocks and skyscrapers create the backdrop of this garden, so you can feel a sense of tradition and modernity. This is Chile Nunnery. It was built in 1934 and it covers over 33,000 square meters and consists of dozens of different halls, lotus ponds, bonsai trees, as well as a five-floor thousand Buddha pagoda. It is also a Buddhist temple and has statues of the Sakyamuni Buddha, Guan Yin, and other Buddhas. There was also an exhibition of these different stones. Unfortunately, it's under construction, so we can't get inside. Unfortunately, closed yung pavilion. May ginagawa, so we can't see it. The Nanlian Garden has over 3.5 hectare area. It was built with one-way circular route which will take you through the best views of the garden. This is the pine tea house inside the Nanlian Garden. And this side of the blue pond is one of the most picturesque spots of the garden. It's relaxing to just walk around the garden. There are also many Instagrammable spots including this mill which is just near the vegetarian restaurant. There's also a souvenir shop. Okay, so we're now off to Mong Kok. We're done here in Nanlian Garden and Chili Nunnery. It's a must visit when you are in Hong Kong. The place is really lovely. Welcome to Mong Kok! So we're going to find a place to eat at um, since it's already late lunch and then we're going to explore the area later. In a big contrast from Nanlian Garden which was tranquil and relaxing, Mong Kok was busy and bustling. In Cantonese, Mong Kok means busy corner 
and indeed, it's one of the busiest areas in Hong Kong. This is the main street, Maple Road. We were looking for a restaurant that was featured in a vlog here in Mong Kok. It's called Lady Street something. But we were not able to find it in this street, so we'll just look for other places. So after looking at different restaurants, we finally found a place. We're here at the, it's a little westernized Chinese Palencia, but western, parang Italian, and mixture of Asian and Western cuisine. Ayan. So this is my food. It's um, steak with rice. It costs fifty-two dollars. And then my brother has chicken with rice as well, about I think fifty dollars as well. Plus we have milk tea, twenty-two dollars each. So we only paid one hundred one Hong Kong dollars for our meal. So it's a cafe and lucky no serving. After lunch, we explore the area to look around and to shop. Here, you will find different items, from unofficial merchandise, souvenirs, pharmacies, toys, and even counterfeit luxury goods. Pag mahapon na pala, saka dumadama yung mga stalls dito. So better to go here in the afternoon up to evening. So we're now here in Sneaker Street. Okay, so after lunch, we just uh, walk around and we're now here in Sneaker Street. As the name suggests, at the Sneaker Street, Street you will be you able to find different, find different shoe stores. Shoe stores. <laughs> the Lady Street Market is the biggest and the most popular one in the area. Even if you don't like shopping, it's really interesting experience just walking through it. From 4 p.m., it's a pedestrian zone and it gets more busy by nighttime. Okay, so we're done here in Mungkok. We're going back to Causeway Bay, but we'll ride a Ding Ding Tram from Central. Part of the authentic Hong Kong experience is riding these Ding Ding Trams. It's best to ride a tram during non-peak hours so that you will be able to access the upper deck and enjoy the city view. So we rested a bit at the hotel but now we're back in Causeway Bay. We're going to explore this area at night because yesterday we were here during lunchtime. Okay, so we're going to the Fashion Walk. Okay, so we're in the Fashion Walk now in Causeway Bay. So it's a mall with different shops. Okay, so Fashion Walk is a regular department store so you can visit if you want to buy different items including makeup so we're now going to check out the other shops in Causeway Bay so this is Causeway Bay this is similar to Shibuya in Tokyo we're going inside Sogo Mall this is near the 
Causeway Bay MTR Station. Sogo Mall is a multi-level Japanese-style department store at the heart of Causeway Bay. It features several well-known brands for apparel, cosmetics, houseware, and appliances. If you want to purchase from brands such as Coach, Kate Spade, Michael Kaur, or Marc Jacobs, you can enjoy huge discounts from their shops here in Sogo Mall. They offered up to 70% off on certain items. The mall is also directly connected to the Causeway Bay MTR station, so it's so convenient for shoppers. So this is how big the Sogo Mall is. We're just on the third floor, but it goes up to the 13th floor for shopping. So this is like the Shibuya crossing. This is Causeway Bay, Hong Kong. This is the Jardin or Jardin Crescent Street. Causeway Bay is Hong Kong's retail center. There are several luxury malls, department stores, and boutiques. If you want a local feel like street foods and street markets, then maybe Mong Kok and Chim Sha Chui might be better for you. But if you just want to go shopping, then Causeway Bay might be the better place. In case you're wondering, Times Square is another big mall. Going up said Times Square. This is Times Square in Causeway Bay. So this is inside Times Square in Causeway Bay. Again, it's a mall so there are many shops. And there are also luxury brands. But we're actually looking for a place to eat. It's Christmas time! In Causeway Bay, you can also find a branch of Donkey, the beloved Japanese 24-hour store. You'll find yourself singing Don 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 Donkey. Our last stop for the night before going back to the hotel is Don Don Donkey store, which is of course our favorite. This ends our second day in Hong Kong. Tune in as in the next episode, we will be exploring Central District and Shongwan District. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.